are enjoying the learning experience with us, please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy. In this video, we will be studying about the deflationary gap and its consequences. See, in the previous video, we discussed about the deficient demand, that is, your difference between your aggregate demand corresponding to full employment and your aggregate demand corresponding to your underemployment. So that was the difference we used to call it as deficient demand. Now what is deflationary gap? It is the same as the deficit demand. The deflationary gap is the shortfall in the AD from the level of required to maintain full employment equilibrium in the economy. In such a situation there is involuntary unemployment in the economy. So your deflationary gap is the shortfall in AD. Shortfall in AD means your AD is less than AS or your AD corresponding to your underemployment equilibrium. From the level required to maintain full employment equilibrium in the economy. So there is involuntary unemployment in the economy. So deflationary gap is measured as the difference between it is the difference between your aggregate demand corresponding to full employment and aggregate demand corresponding to under employment equilibrium let's see this graphically we take a straight line 45 degree straight line that is your aggregate supply is equal to your income we have done this before we have proved this many times this is your AD that is under employed and this is your aggregate demand full employment equilibrium. So this was your equilibrium when there is involuntary unemployment in the economy. And this is the equilibrium when there is full employment in the economy, right? So these are the two equilibrium. So this is the difference between your ADU and ADF. This is the deflationary gap. This is the deflation. And what is deflation? Deflation is the journal decrease in the base price of a commodity. See, when your aggregate demand is less than your aggregate supply, which means your supply is more than demand. So, if there is no demand, what a producer will do? The prices will be reduced in the market. Right? Suppose you are selling at rupees 10. Now, in order to attract more consumer in order to increase more demand you will be started selling it at let's say at rupees 7 so there is general decrease in the price level right so if they decrease the price so more people will demand so ultimately the aggregate demand will be equal to aggregate supply but in this case your actual price was rupees 10 you are selling it at rupees 5 in order to clear up your 
stop so there will be less output or if you are not selling it at rupee 7 so next production you will reduce you will reduce the production due to your demand your production you will reduce so ultimately less output will be produced less output means less income in the economy less output means your less employment in the economy if you are not producing something if you are reducing your output production means you are employing less labor so less employment will be there in the economy ultimately giving a reason of less income in the economy so if there is decrease in the general price level then it creates a deflationary gap in the economy now let's see the consequences now let's see the consequences of deflationary gap see your deflationary gap is the situation when your aggregate demand is less than your aggregate supply okay your aggregate demand of underemployment is less than your aggregate demand for full employment so this is your deflationary gap so when your aggregate demand is less than your aggregate supply what this means that your actual stock you have is more than the desired stock what is actually demanded in the market so you have more stock left with you what will you do you will plan less production for the next stock you want, why would you produce the stock if you already have more stock with you right so production is le plan less production ultimately aggregate supply will reduce aggregate supply reduce means output you plan reduces if output reduces your employment reduces and you come into the deflationary gap situation that is your underemployment situation voluntary sorry involuntary and un uh, unemployment situation if your employment is less ultimately your income is less in the economy now if your income is less again you will demand less so this is actually a trap so again if demand is less again this will happen and this is a cycle that will go on so this is a low level low level equilibrium trap the uh, our economy will be in trap so these are the consequences if your aggregate supply is less than your aggregate demand is less than your aggregate supply and there is a deflationary gap. I hope you have completely understood the deflationary gap. Do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.